how you running a business and just writing a book? I, 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 I'm brand new. I change. Um, whore, um, I'm a little important for you now. Whore, I, I cannot have, I can't, have, I can't, I cannot have conversation with you no more because I change. You're just upset. You're just upset. You're just upset. You're just upset. So this shit is about results at the end of the day. You know, that small talk only could last for so fucking long. So it was just like, hello. Hey, man. Because at one point, my nigga, she even asked me to trade for her. <laughs> that funny. Some G shit. I, I remember that shit. And I was like. This was in between October and December? Yep. This bitch is wild, nigga. And when she was FaceTiming you, sometimes if she had a uh, the camera away from her face and she was pointing out the ceiling and shit. Mm -hmm. Damn, so you too? Yeah, I'm some weird shit. Like, I always thought that shit was weird. I'm just like, yo, like, let's go with you. Hey, bro, that's what I'm saying. Red flag, bro. Like, but she got a fat ass, so you don't really... You don't really, like, you look, you look, bro, never, what's the song? Poison, poison, nigga, they tell you. They, literally, the niggas told us, bro, they told us, bro. We would, we, we got fucked like that. That's a fucking fact. Oh, God, niggas fell for the okie doke. But, like, that's why I was like, nah. Holy shit, 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 shit. But you do know who I'm talking about. Shut your bitch ass up before I get to talking shit about you. You don't want me to expose you. She, she was just like, you know, she was just on some old, like, at, like, at first she was just like, oh, she seen my charts and shit. And I'm just like, oh, okay, bet. And I was just like, this is when I had my other IG. I don't got that shit no more because that shit got that. So I was just like, I that like you know that's cool and she was like oh you know I'm looking for a trading partner and I'm just like mm, I'm not really that I'm not really too fun about you know this in October <laughs> nah nigga this was in fucking August type shit oh okay okay yeah this was like in August so I, I was just like um that bitch and she been on the prowl yeah that's a crazy because. Because first of all, that's defamation because you're lying. I never asked you for money. Period. <clears throat> what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? So we gotta deal with this uh Jerry Springer bullshit. But we're gonna address this. We're gonna keep it moving. Alright. So it was like an hour video. Okay. Well, check this out. What I'll do in this video. Is just let the text message play. I screen recorded text and just screenshot and I just let uh all my text messages play in the video. I really wanted to make this thing quick, wrap it up. I don't really want to waste too much time. I'm about to play 2K. You see nigga just spark the beliefs. Let's get it though. Alright, so check it. Um, real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and summarize the video. Summarize you guys what's going on. Uh you know, I was dealing with this uh this index queen chick, you know what I'm saying? on the premise that she was actually trading, actually doing everything that she said that she was doing. And, you know, I don't know. She just started moving weird. You know what I'm saying? She started moving hella weird. And I picked up on, I just was picking up on stuff, you know? Like, I'm not stupid. My intuition is extremely high. You know what I mean? Especially with what I do, um, especially my field. Like, I have to be able to make decisions fast. I have to be able to trust my gut and just, you know, move on things quick. You know what I mean? That's basically what I do, you know? So, yeah, bro, I was just picking up on stuff, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, this don't add up. It don't add up. It's just two and two not making four in this situation. You feel me? So the first thing, red flag was uh, she kept asking me for bread. I'm like, 
but you trade though. So yeah, like that's a red flag for me. I'm already expecting her to be getting the bag. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, anyway, anyway, so moving on, right? And then, shit, man, shorty got so much business going down in Houston. You feel me? It's hella niggas going, going up. So, bro, I just don't want to be a part of that party. I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool on being a part of that. Like, they can enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? Shit, right now, she on the cock carousel. <laughs> so, it is what it is. You feel me? Oh, that's it. But in the video, uh, well, she seems a little bit flustered, does she? she? It's because uh, her dude called me, bro. She had this nigga in Houston. So, bro, call me. We chop it up. You know what I'm saying? And we chop it up for like five hours. You're like, damn, what could two men that don't even know each other talk about for five hours? Well, shit, we have one thing in common. And we figured out a lot. We figured out a lot. You know what I'm saying? But well before he hit me up though, shit, I figured out her real age, bro. Yeah. Like I said, I ain't gonna waste too much time on this shit. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. So this was the phone call between me and her dude. Y'all see it was a private number. You see it was incoming. And we spoke for like five hours. You know what I'm saying? Shit, hey, my phone be going up, you feel me? But we spoke for like five hours. And, uh, and yeah not like had that feeling that she's not being honest it was in your you know gut huh it was your intuition yeah it's just like i just i just i'm just that type of person like bro just, oh, i'm bro. telling you nigga god was talk, bro you i bro that's why i'm telling you nigga i was feeling that same shit and i just it was just something that just was like nah like she would be telling me shit and i would just be thinking like, nigga, this shit don't add up, though. Like, how do you fucking go to sleep at this time or disappear at this time and then come back at this time? Like, I'm, bro, I'm putting two and two together. Like, yeah, that's wild. Yeah, that shit doesn't make up. And then that, that's another thing, too, that was, <clears throat> that wasn't um, adding up to me. It was just like, you know, you'll talk to me. And then you're just like, and then things like, it's how, like, you're working all day, right? And then you talk about you, oh, I'm on the laptop, I'm checking emails type shit. I'm just like, if you make so much money from your business and trading. Then you don't even have to be doing all of that shit. Exactly. Like, and then plus, like, if, if you got that much shit, like, hire an assistant. Bro, I used to Especially be talking when it comes shit. To email. Bro, I used to be talking shit and I used to be telling her like, nigga, I was like, how you go from trading with me every morning to working a job? That what? Like, and she's, it's not a job. It's my business. But you're working fucking 34 hours a day. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what? Yeah, nigga? I, like, that's not no damn business. And then like, what the fuck is she actually doing? Because that's the fucking, she keeps saying that she's a jester or whatever. But I'm just like, that doesn't make no sense because my sister is a jester. And, and she not that fucking busy, nigga. No, she's fucking not, my nigga. My, and, like, not at all. Like, my sister worked maybe some days 10 hours. But she's not up. She's not up, you know, after her shift or whatever the case may be. Fucking checking emails all night. I started a business. That's why we stopped trading because I couldn't, I couldn't do both. It's crazy because I know people who follow him that has the same business as me or do something pertaining to my business and they also trade. That's That was so crazy and I even told him that. I said, do you know that there's people that follow you that I know that was rocket, that, that's that been knowing me at the beginning of my trading career and they just so happen to follow you. They do what I do on the same line, a little bit similar to what I do and they trade. Who's sitting up here I started a business, that's why we stopped trading, because I couldn't, I couldn't do both. They do what I do on the same line, a little bit similar to what I do, and they trade. Who's sitting up here? He told a dude that 
I knew they were still together, and I was like a, a side piece, and, and me and um, her got into it because I wanted to be the main, and I wanted to move in, da, da, da. all this other stuff. I wanted to move to Cali. First of all, this dude wants me to have his kids. Like, stop playing with me. But saying I need money for rent? No, I ain't never asked him for money based on a bill. Like I said, we put two and two together, man. We made four. And um, that's why she was so flustered. She felt like I fucked up her plans that she had with, that. bro, I don't even know. That ain't my business. And you'll see in my text messages, I'm telling Shorty, nigga, that's your business. Like, take care of that. You know what I mean? But like I said, it's some Jerry Springer bullshit. You feel me? Forex Jerry Springer bullshit. And I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson to properly vet people that uh that I let around me. You know what I'm saying? I thought my intuition was good, but this was a case of me being blinded by a made up face, a mask, and a fat ass. Now let's get it. And lying on me is harmful because first of all, that's defamation because you're lying. I never asked you for money. Period. I never asked, not money. I never asked you for money for my rent. You try to portray. That's another thing I need to address. Dude had put something on there. And I think even his like whack ass baby mama was talking about. I was asking him for rent money. What? I ain't never asked this dude for rent money. That's a lie. That is a lie. What I did was ask for money like any other female. If you talking to a dude, come on, we already know. Y'all know, dudes know, females know. You talking to a dude, especially a, especially if you talking to a dude that claim he a millionaire, you still having to talk to a guy and he claim he a millionaire, he got this. Aren't you going to ask your dude for money? You can be like, oh, I got this going on. Can I have some money? Da, da. That's what I did. I was doing that like any other female. And lying on me is harmful because, first of all, that's defamation because you're lying. I never asked you for money. Period. I never asked, not money. I never asked you for money for my rent. You try to portray. He also sent a text message to the guy who was not even my text message because y'all know y'all can get in contact with him on his line at any time. People be texting him and asking him questions. He didn't send the boy. A screenshot, mind you, I don't even know what type of, I have an iPhone, both of my phones. Oh, they right here, I about to say I don't even have the other phone. Both of my phones are iPhones, both of them, they're iPhones. Dude, <laughs> I don't know what type of screenshot that was, or that person who, I guess he was about to use that to in include into the clip. That's some type of Andro, Andro, Android phone or whatever. I don't even own an Android. But some guy or some fan or whoever, some subscriber was sitting there saying like he lost 1K and um, he about to end his trading career because he about to hit rock bottom. This dude going to sit up there and send a message to the guy talking about that's me. Stop playing with me. All what he told his dude lies. And I just really don't appreciate it. Just <laughs> Guess what? Dude texting me. Dude texting me at the top. I don't even know if y'all see that. Do <gasps> He 
my well in the window. You get to make calls. Hit me up tomorrow. Like, do call me. Like, before I craziness, do call me to my tomorrow. I'm Set because I decided not I decided peace over his toxic behavior it's not right it's not right and I really don't appreciate so the scammer part I don't know what he's talking about I am NOT a scammer I'm good over here I have not scammed I don't need to scam I have my own stream of income like I don't need to do that his baby mama is the one that's a scammer and he's told me she's a scammer he told me that she still scams um and then also she stay with her she stay with her mama they on um